Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, April 20th. This will be your full length reading on YouTube under Taj's Divine Guidance. So head over there, watch the full length version. When you're finished, if you're interested in scheduling a private reading, you know how to find me. Um, check the bio and TikTok, the description and YouTube, and follow the scheduling link. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a bracelet from the Inspiration Company, they are running a promotion until April 30th, natural stone bracelets with inspirational quotes for men, women, and children. Use my code TASHAS25 to get 25% off. Okay, so we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, do a thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're going to do it just like we've been doing it. I really like doing it this way because we're using multiple decks and it is pretty much validating the entire message. So let's see what comes out for the collective. What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what do we need to know for the collective? What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints. One more, please. One, one more. I just went flying. Hold on. Wow. Okay. So, out of this deck, the light seers. You came out as the empress, whether you're a man or a woman. You are proud. You are confident. You are in your power. You know your value. You know your worth. You vibrate so high. You call into your energy abundance. Everything in your life lines up for you because you're in this empress energy. Um, now, they're saying that there was an injustice that was done to you in the past. This was huge. This was something horrible that someone did to you. And they're saying, guess what? This, the scales are about to be balanced and you're going to have victory over the situation. They're also saying that you are a very powerful manifester. You have the ability to call into your 3D reality anything that you desire. You can manifest anything into your reality that you want. So be really careful about what you think, okay? Because you'll be calling it in. The bottom of the deck is judgment. Karma, whether it's good or bad, scales being balanced. Okay, guys, let's go on to this deck. And I don't know the name of this little deck. I don't remember. Let's see what comes out of this deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what else do we need to know? What does the collective need to know for their greater good? What does the collective need to know for their greater good? What does the collective need to know for their greater good? Okay, so you're dropping the burden of the past. You're protecting your energy right now. Um, you pretty much stay in hermit mode and isolation. Um, more for protection of your own energy. Um, you know how important your energy is and you don't want to share it with other people that you don't trust. Then we have the devil here. For many of you, someone from the past, this person that created an injustice that is in this devil energy will try to come forward and give you an offer. Um, they've been slow to action. And now they're coming in wanting to um, be this king of cups, which express emotion to you. Yeah, but they can't be trusted. The moon here. There's lies. There's secrets. This person cannot be trusted. All right. So we're going to go on to another deck. I'm going to shuffle it. Let's see what else comes out for the collective. What else do we need to know for the collective, please? The spirit, the angels and saints. What else do we need to know for the greater good of the collective? Okay, so there was heartbreak. There was in the past, um, you had to get really 
um, grounded and connect with the divine in order to heal, okay? There is an energy of someone being trapped within their own mind. Now, this can be you or someone else. If this is you, this is an illusion. Um, the past has no hold over you. If this is someone else, this past toxic person, um, this is part of their karma. But I see positive forward movement. Good things happening in your life uh, moving forward. Yeah, I do not see this as your energy. This is someone that feels rejected and abandoned now. Um, I don't read reversals on this deck, but they said this person has no balance in their life. They are imbalanced for sure. So that's not your energy. Yeah, you're, you're strong. You're in your power. You're proud. You're confident. What else do we need to know, please? Holy Spirit, the angels and saints. Thank you. Yeah, for some of you, you may be getting uh, an apology, but you're focused on this brand new passionate endeavor um, in your life. It's the creativity, a creative endeavor. Um, and it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. This can also be a, a partnership. This this Ace of Wands can be a partnership, um, a passionate new beginning. And it leads to the Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth, stability, security with someone that is in alignment with you spiritually, someone that you can trust. Someone that has the same vision that you have, that has the same beliefs that you have. So that's pretty awesome. It's because you went through a transformation and you walked away from things that didn't serve you. All right, let's go on to the Rider weight. Justice is being served on someone from the past that was in this devil energy that caused a great injustice to you. Justice is being served. This came out yesterday. What else do we need to know? Yeah, because this person breadcrumbed you. They're being hit by tower after tower because they did not give equally. Um, they're being hit by massive tower moments. It's God's judgment. Wow. God's judgment. We have justice and judgment on this six of cups, this past energy that didn't give to you equally. They were giving to other people. That's what it, it's looking like. Yeah. Put you in a position where you had to cut them out completely because they wouldn't change. They refused to change. Um, this is you being in alignment with someone, working with other people that are at your vibration, um, helping others, guiding others, and releasing the heartbreak releasing the heartbreak this is your divine mission this is this is about you being on your divine path you will, cutting out the past and then going toward your divine mission which is helping others to heal their heart it's helping others to heal their heart that's what they're saying to me yeah you know helping others to recognize what is a solid opportunity, what is a solid offer in a partnership and what isn't and releasing it um, and getting them out of this regret energy, this sadness, um, opening their eyes and allowing them to see that they have, um, they have more, more than what they received in the past, that there is more to come that's bigger and better for them. Yeah, you're protected from this past emotional manipulator. You you protect yourself because you, you can see that this person is, is in devil energy. And you're protected. God protects you. There's nothing this person or anyone else can do to try to hurt you. There's been enough damage, enough lies, enough secrets, and you've healed. And that's why you're being blessed financially because you had the courage to close out a cycle. You found inner balance through this ending. You found your own balance with God. And God took you into a time of peace. For some of you, you may be having a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag coming in as a soulmate, a true divine partner to give you an offer. They're saying, you know, let your guard down. 
allow this person to prove to you that they are worthy of your energy, that they are worthy and they are, that you can trust them. They're on your level, that they have your interest. And um, don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the past. God will take care of the past for you. You don't have to do anything. Let's get advice, a few advice cards. Yeah, don't worry about the past. Choose a new direction. The past didn't serve you. The past wasn't worthy of you. That's what they said. Get connected. You'll know this truth for yourself. Get connected to God, the angels, the saints, whatever you believe. Your higher power. Your health is also going to be improving. For those of you trying to take better care of yourself, physically, spiritually, or emotionally, it's going to improve. Yeah, and it's leading to success in your life in every aspect. Success is yours. Yeah. Stay in your power. Take action. Speak your truth. Because God's bringing in something better. Big happy changes are coming. Big happy changes. Don't worry. Just trust. Listen to your intuition. Divine timing. It's coming in. Be in the highest vibration you can be in, guys, to call it in. Okay. I hope this reading helped you. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.